Service, Dernan Motors, number 43, H the Gunslinger, Ryan Hunsinger. And lining up to his side in position number 10 out of a shriek in the case IH, Rochester Nighthawks, number 68 of Aaron Turkey. Rolling off 11th out of a shriek in the Nitro 54, variety 15 of Dan Nanacoke. And to his outside from Beachville, the weather skin coatings, a door construction number 5 of DJ Christie. Starting in 13th out of Beamsville, the JNE Recovery, Julie Swayze Remax, 88H of Josh Hansen. And in position number 14 out of Vanessa, the BCG Electrical, Mike Eric Dodge, number 8 of the Hurricane, Hannah Farrell. Starting in 15th out of Ancasters, the 51 of Trevor Young, and lining up to his outside from Waterdown, the regional tractor sale, Sunmec, 5C of Connor Mahoney. And rolling off 17th out of Oakland, the Inselthane Middleport Mechanical, number 10 of Loft and Shuts. And his outside starting 18th out of Port Colburn, the 5D of Jacob Dykstra in the back row. In car number 9 out of Brantford, the Roxy Tap and Grill Ride, that is Paul Ballantyne. And going 20th from Oshriek in the Kanata Fuels, 9C of Brian Nanako. This time by, we will see the white flag as the Crate Sprint cars go behind that very beautiful Strickland's GMC pace truck. was undefeated coming into tonight's action. Dave Bailey in the Thunder Sox, Ryan Hunsinger in the Crate Sprints. Was anyone else? I believe that is it. So Ryan that Hunsinger, the only driver that can still remain undefeated after tonight. He's got his work cut out for him though, coming from the fifth row. Costa and Hill will bring them to the green flag. Our final feature of the night's the Strickland GMC Crate Sprint Car A-Main. Green is out, they rumble into turn number one. Costa running that low line, but Hill with a better run on the outside. He'll take the lead down the back stretch. Hill your leader and Costa in second. Three cars going at it, make it four wide for the third spot. Through the corner comes Jesse McDonald and he loses power out of the corner. They all stack up in behind him. Wow, what a great job for those guys not to pile up on the front stretch as Jesse McDonald with a problem. It seemed to correct itself. That was a big benefit for Josh Hansen. He was starting in 13th, and he got by a few cars there on that move as Holly Porter, Mike Thorne all had a check Problem. up past it. Josh Pro Schantz and problems off a of corner four for Lofton Schutz in car number 10. He has turned that car backwards. To fling outside the bar and get broken. They wear straps around their wrists that buckle into the seats. And we are going green here off of four. We'll turn it back to you, but yeah. Safety, number one factor, she gets her spot back. Sean Evans works to the outside of Jesse Costa and Ryan Hunsinger. They'll go three wide down the back stretch. Costa has that second spot with Jerry Hill out in front. Ryan Hunsinger up to fourth, looking for three wins in a row here at the Big O as Mike Thorne three wide to the outside out of turn four for position. Wow, Sean Evans did everything but lose it up in corner number two, and Ryan Hunsinger will get by, and that allows Aaron Turkey to move to the outside, so he'll move from third to fifth as now Dan Nanakoke loops the car around up in corner number two, and the yellow comes out. Slick racetrack. In fact, this is the slickest racing service that many of these drivers have had to face in the great sprint car division. I think it's a very good statement, Adam, to make. You're so accurate. A lot of the guys, even the Nanacokes, they've never been on a track this slick. Yet, Thursday before the sprint car nationals could have raced on a Saturday, but as the story goes, his mom said, no, you got to complete your hockey season. So he only got to race this year, had to sit a whole year with that car in the garage just drooling over it. And that would be torture looking at that race car. It'd be torture for to... me, I'm 44. Imagine what it's like when you're 14. No doubt about it. We're gonna go green this time out of turn number four. So, quasi teammates there, Jerry Hill, Sean Evans lead at the restart of this one. Hill in the 49, Sean Evans in the 87 as they come down the hill from corner four, single file past the cone, Hill leads them down into one. Ryan Hunsinger loves hunting the bottom of the racetrack as he looks for a lane on the inside of Jesse Costa. Costa drives it in deep. Look at Jesse McDonald swinging the outside of the racetrack. No, that's Aaron Turkey, I'm sorry. Aaron Turkey having a solid run and he needs it. He's really struggled over the last, uh, let's say, year and a half. He's up there right now in the fourth spot, but here comes Mac DeMann. Now he's into the mix in the top five. And Ryan Hunsinger got loose. Look at them gobble him up. Aaron Turkey to the outside. Mac DeMann through the middle. 
looking for racing room and there Sean Evans goes high. We are yellow once again for a car spun around in turn four. So now put Sean Evans in the 10th position with five laps complete and 15 to go. White flag being displayed to the field. Sean Evans, who we documented had that uh, rough week last week, leading us heat and broke a tie rod bolt, flipped the car, came back, won the B main, got up to fifth in the A main before settling for eighth overall last week. And now here he is leading. I wonder if his mom came back. Last week was her first attempt. She said that was probably it. I was gonna ask you that and I thought it was best <laughs> if I leave it alone tonight. Well, she's missing Sean right now at the front of the field if she is not here. Green flag in the air and Evans will lead them into quarter one. Good start for Evans as he opens up an advantage. Ryan Hunsinger moves up to second. Oh, trouble in turn number two. Mac Demand goes around. We got another one around in the middle of the corner. And how did everybody miss Mac Deman? Man, close call up there in corner two. He was running right up there. I've had the many corner. calls this week. Yeah, let me put it that way. We've had many a meeting this week to get it right, and uh, things are looking very good. And that's just our passion to deliver a fast-paced show and, you know, fair, fast, and uh, exciting. The biggest adjective I got about what we're doing here, Adam, it's authentic. If you haven't brought your friends yet, this is authentic excitement right here. Nothing fake about what we're doing here tonight. Getting set to go, guys. Back to you. And they are stacked up on the back straightaway, checked up behind the race leader, Sean Evans. Everybody gets pointed in the right direction. Green flag is out. Back to green, and right now Ryan Hunsinger throws it down in deep on Jerry Hill. They'll go side by side through corner number two. Hunsinger on the bottom, Hill up top. Meanwhile, Evans checking out in front of these two. Ryan Hunsinger working that bottom groove, trying to get around Hill. Hill has the position at the line as we've got one around in turn four. I believe that's DJ Christie. So DJ Christie will spin on his own up and there are drivers that are driving faster into the corners than Sean Evans, but they're not getting off as fast. There's drivers coming off the corner faster, but they're not getting in as fast. Sean Evans is going as fast as a driver can right now because he's got the, the perfect balance of control, acceleration around the racetrack. And I don't think I did a very good job of explaining slow as fast, but you have to be under control and you're racing the conditions. No, I think you hit the nail on the head. It's all about where you are fast that can make the difference. And, and overcooking the corner can often uh, hurt you compared to a guy that's getting that launch off of corners 4-2. Here we go. Sean Evans back to the green flag. Jerry Hill in tow. The gunslinger, Ryan Hunsinger, shooting to be the only driver to remain perfect after three weeks of competition. Again, he draws up side by side for the second spot and a good three car battle right now for fourth, fifth and sixth. How about the rookie, Hanson? Hanson working his way up towards the top five. As we say that he slides up the racetrack, but he is a man on a mission right now. Evans leads down the back stretch by about six car lengths over Hill. Hunsinger right now in third, tied to the bottom. And here comes Holly Porter. She got shuffled back a little bit on that incident with Jesse McDonald. And now she's right there in the top five and challenging Hunsinger on the bottom. Holly Porter looking to go to the outside of Ryan Hunsinger as these cars searching for grip around the racetrack. At the front, Sean Evans continues to lead the way. Here goes Hanson. Holly Porter draws up alongside Ryan Hunsinger looking for the fourth position. She says, well, I'm here. Maybe I'll grab third from Aaron Turkey, but she gets sideways in corner two and holds on to fourth. So Porter up to fourth. Ryan Hunsinger trying to drive deeper into the corner, but he couldn't get that spot. These cars are all over the racetrack. Slip, slide Trouble away. four. And it's Jacob Dykstra. Dan Nanakoke piles in there, and that will bring out the caution with 10 laps on the board, 10 laps left to go. And we almost had both Nanakokes involved in that. Brian Nanakoke made contact with Dan, but was able to keep on going. Just skipped by there at the very last moment. That just happened. <laughs> We're gonna go green, <laughs> this time at a turn number four, Sean Evans, Aaron Turkey going to lead the field under the flag stand. 
Back to the green with Turkey in tow, and man, does this man need a good run. Good to see the 68 back up there challenging for a win as Sean Evans looking for his first win here at Oshweek in Speedway. Ryan Hunsinger digging back on the inside as he draws alongside Holly Porter down the back straightaway. She'll drive it deeper down into turn number three, gain control of that car and maintain her position. Aaron Turkey dives down deep on Evans as they battle it out Trouble for the lead. Three. And the caution will fly again for Brian Nanakoke this time. With nine laps left to go. Well, and all those wins had to have come before. Well, one of those wins came in 2015, none of them in 2016. So that's five wins prior to the 15 season. We're gonna go green, white flag in the air, and now it's green. We're back under racing conditions with nine laps to go. Evans leads him down to one, running that. The field charges down the back straightaway. Holly Porter in a great three-way battle with Hill. Josh Hansen, Ryan Hunsinger, so make that a four-car battle. And that's Josh Chance, not Josh Hansen, I'm sorry. Josh Chance up to the fourth position is as the field streaks down into three and four. 13 laps go up on the scoreboard. Aaron Turkey drawing into the right rear of Sean Evans running two extremely different lines. Turkey trying to hold it wide open around the outside and Evans trying to be smooth, steady and patient down on that inside. Sean Evans doing a nice job hitting his marks down low, but here goes Aaron Turkey to the outside with a blaze of speed. Turkey going up to that extreme line and we heard Jared Zimbardi say there was still a little lip up there, a little moisture up on the extreme outside line, but the problem is you miss it and you're gonna lose ground that time. He nearly lost the lead back to Sean Evans. Well, and keep in mind, Sean Evans had not seen anyone really challenge him for a number of restarts. So he's probably taking it easy, keeping the car straight. Now that he knows there's someone out there who can battle him for the lead, he's up on the wheel once again, looking for bite in that 87X machine. Four laps to go. Aaron Turkey's your leader. Sean Evans in second. Third right now is Josh Schantz. Fourth is Holly Porter. And fifth is Jerry Hill. Sixth, Jesse McDonald, and the yellow flag will fly. Problems for Jesse Costa in corner four, right in front of the leaders. And we'll one go back car is up off the end of turn number three. Is that Trevor Young? Yes, it is. The 51 and Trevor Young. Yeah, guys, he slid here up off the end of turn number three. Up the outside apron. Car should be all right. Didn't look damaged as it slid by me backwards. Turn three. What a run for Aaron Turkey, though, using that outside advantage, as you guys mentioned. And really winding it up on the top. And Greg, that's where he made his magic a couple of years ago, right? Most of his wins, because he had the power to roll it up on the outside. Ready to go back at it with four laps left to go. All time winner in this division, Ryan Hunsinger with 10 wins. Mac Demand second with eight wins. Then it's Aaron Turkey with six. He's tied with Dylan Westbrook, Josh Schantz. Holly Porter with five, Jake Brown has three, Jesse McDonald three, Alex Hill two, Mark Zuba one, and Brad Heron one. Aaron Turkey wheels it through three and four, hard on the throttle and a turn number four, green flag is in the air. Turkey leads, but Evans fighting back in that bottom side and hey, look who's in this one too. Josh Schantz has done a nice job recovering from a failures last week he's up there in that third spot feeling pressure now from Holly Porter Sean Evans trying to find an angle he can run through the corner to challenge Aaron Turkey but that was not it now he gets clipped by Holly Porter and goes around Wow so red will go on the speedway for the tip over there by Sean Evans who Got clipped in the rear end by the one of Holly Porter, who also sits up there in corner number two. And man, oh man, go from leading a, the first half of this race to now being on your side for the second week in a row. Heartbreaking for Sean Evans. I'm not sure how much damage there would be to either of these race cars. 
as it was a lazy kind of roll, and Holly Porter just looked like she clipped him and, and gently spun around herself. Well, everybody looks all right down here. Adam Holly Porter getting turned around. They'll get the Sean Evans 87X turned around as well. Yeah, they're, they're going to push them right up close and personal so they can look at each other and share their thoughts. Well, Sean Evans smiling here in the 87. Good thing to know the car's all right at least, and we'll be ready to push them off here in just a moment. I got a second. He's got his hands up. Sean, you've had an up and down couple of weeks. Can you still smile or what? I'm putting it lightly, buddy. Yeah, up and down, up and down. We didn't wreck anything by the looks of it this time, though. Well, that up and down was the easiest up and down you had all week, so good deal. All right on, man. Let's go. See if I Let's go, he says. We'll push Sean Evans off. How about a hand, ladies and gentlemen, for all these great drivers and their awesome attitudes here tonight? Sean Evans has had a couple of up and down weeks, and unfortunately, that up and down wasn't bad. So back under in more than a year. Green flag back on the field. Turkey leads them down the front stretch. And they all rumble down into corner number one. Here comes Josh Schantz. Slides up in front of the leader. Turkey will shoot back by down the back stretch. It was a great effort by Josh Schantz. Let's the leader know he's there. Trying something, anything to challenge for a win. Two laps to go. Turkey is your leader over Schantz and McDonald. Mac, the man is right there all over the back end of the 88. He gets by Hill into fourth. Mac to Man and Hill side by side from fourth down into turn number three. There's one more lap to go. Aaron Turkey one lap away from getting back to Lucas Oil victory lane. It's going to feel oh so good if he can hold on. Shots in second, McDonald third. One more time through three and four. Aaron Turkey leads the way down into turn number three up on the outside. He'll lead them off a of turn four. Aaron Turkey with the win. Shants in second, Jesse McDonald third, Hill fourth, and Mac to Man rounds out the top five it was a struggle to get there but we got to the checkered flag of this one a great night of racing and greg callan is making his way to victory lane Well, on behalf of all the staff, management, and our team here tonight, thanks all you great fans for coming out here tonight. Don't forget, we're back at it next Friday for Wall of Fame night. Brought to you by our friends at Cormark. Everything is out here tonight, plus the Pro 4 trucks and our Wall of Fame induction. So if you're driving out, travel safe, and we'll bring you right here to Victory Lane as Greg Callan on his way down to have a talk with our winner, Aaron Turkey, and the rest of the top three. Well, it's been a long time coming, but he's finally back to Lucas Oil Products Victory Lane. Getting congratulated as he gets out of the car, gets the Lucas Oil hat on. He's got the checkered flag. Let's hear for Aaron Turkey. Man, oh man, Aaron, this one has to feel like the first one. Here comes your teammate to congratulate you. Some of the struggles you guys have had have not been of your own doing. Dealing with motor issues and as such, to get back to victory lane's got to feel oh so good. Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, I don't know what was longer, waiting for that street, race, street stock race to get done or that race. There's a lot of cautions, but it did really feel good to be back on the high side and actually have full power and be able to power where I wanted to. Looked like there was still a little bit of bite up around the outside line. You were riding that thin edge and it worked. Yeah, I was trying to find it. I'm, uh, the front end started pushing a little bit sometimes, so I was just dragging a brake and just trying to get it to turn, but it was rotating really nice up there. Who would you like to thank? Uh, I got to thank my crew to, for uh, sticking with me. You know, they've been here for like two years and I haven't won in two years, right? So I told them it was coming with all the podiums last year, but I got to thank uh, Brad Heron and Steve Moll and then uh, the rest of the Steyer's crew for helping me out. We had a lot of problems, but uh, we figured them out now. <laughs> well, he's finally back in victory lane. Let's hear for Aaron Turkey, the winner here tonight in the Crate Sprint Car Feature event. Josh Schantz comes home in second. He's got a rim full of clay down in there as he's talking to Glenn Steyer's. Josh, let's bring you out here so the TV camera can see you. Josh, you gave him a run down in corner one and two, but uh, did you think it was going to stick because uh, he, he was so strong on the outside? I was playing in that since the caution. I figured I was watching Aaron the whole time. He was dedicated to the top, and I thought if I could get him 
just throw it in as hard as I can on the bottom and try to slide them coming up. I might have a chance, but I got so much wheel spin coming off too. And uh, he just got a run. He crossed over and got me, but it was worth a shot. <laughs> Great recovery from the week you had one week ago. Yeah, that was, uh, that was unfortunate, just a mechanical issue. But uh, the first week out, the car was on rails again tonight once I figured it out, on rails again. Um, our program's working really good. Uh, what we're doing, all the guys helping. Um, it's just, it's going to be a good year. Who would you like to thank? Uh, first of all, my crew, everybody here. Uh, my dad, Roman, Todd, Jordan, Nick, Steph, Cody, Travis, Bob, Ryan, everybody in the pits. There's, there's a lot of people that, that help put this together. Uh, all my sponsors, uh, Nicholson Realty, Cal Tire, Creative Edge, uh, BG, Snap-on, Cloverleaf Farms, Baden Automotive, Demtool, National Engineer Fasteners, AYS. I mean, there's, there's, the list goes on. Great recovery this week for Josh Schantz. He comes home in second spot. And let's go down to third place. Jesse McDonald, who's talking to the boss, Glenn Styers down here. Sorry, Glenn, I'm breaking up all your conversations. Jesse, you said you were going to park it tonight. Well, another top three. That's pretty close. Well, we're on the front stretch. <laughs> we got a broken shock. Carbs running a little, eh. But we made it. So that's a win in my books. You guys have been struggling with the car. I talked to Brad Heron about it, but he said you guys have figured something out. And obviously you have great start to the season, even though you haven't been to victory lane. Yeah, we haven't been to victory lane, but, you know, finishing top three, you know, we're on the podium, so you can't get mad about it. So, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. And, um, yeah, we're just chasing gremlins right now, and we're just trying to figure out what's going on. It literally died on me up there, and uh, I felt everybody kind of hitting me, and I'm like, uh-oh, and then all of a sudden it took off. So I apologize for that, and uh, I don't know what happened. You know what? Everyone made it through clear, and uh, a good race. A long race, though. Did you have any thoughts in the back of your head? Man, might we run out of fuel in this thing? That was a long race. Well, I, I, I put extra fuel in for all those <laughs> caution laps, but, yeah, I'm sitting there. I'm like, holy, this is a workout. But uh, I want to congratulate my teammate, Aaron Turkey. He did an awesome job finally parking it this year, and uh, good for him. And, uh, yeah, I'm just pleased, you know. We're up here, top three. And, uh, you know, I want to thank my sponsors, Renway, Oshwegan Speedway, Glenn Steyer, Steve Moulton, Brad Heron for working his butt off on this thing. Same with my dad. They, uh, for the whole night, they were just going nuts on this thing. So uh, hats off to those guys, team effort. There you have it. There's your top three from the Strickland GMC Crate Sprint Car Division. That'll do it down trackside. That'll do it for another night here at Oshweekin Speedway. Thanks to all you watching at home on the live stream. We very much appreciate it. Hope you'll join us right here next Friday night, 7.30 start time. It's Wall of Fame night, of course. We're going to induct five new members onto the wall. It's also Kids Race uh, National Autism Foundation night as well. All brought to you by Cormark, OshweekinSpeedway.com for all the information on that. Make sure you're here, 7.30 start time. So on behalf of the ownership, the staff, all the officials, all the folks that make it happen, and on behalf of my co-announcers, Adam Ross and Clinton Jeffrey, my name is Greg Kellner saying so long, and we'll see you next Friday night.